Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you an easy way to remotely access your PC or laptop from your Android phone or another PC anywhere at any time. This is similar to the remote desktop connection feature. However, I find this a lot easier because here you don't need to worry about the IP addresses or DNS configuration settings and all that. You just need an internet connection. This could come in handy if you have a PC or a laptop at home, you don't want to carry to work, but you still want to have full access to all your files and applications. Or conversely, if you have a PC or a laptop at work you don't want to carry home but still you want to access it from home then this surely does an excellent job with that. Without any further ado let's get to the process. So the first thing is to go to your Chrome browser and in the address field type Chrome colon double forward slash apps as shown on the screen and hit enter. It should show you a page like this or a similar page with the other apps you have installed on your browser. Click on web store and then search for Chrome remote desktop. Then you will see the Chrome remote desktop app. Click on add to Chrome and wait for the installation. It shouldn't take much time. After the installation, you should see the Chrome remote desktop app added to your app page. Launch the app by clicking and authorize access. Then choose the Google account you wish to use to access your computers and click on allow. If you get this dialog box again, click on continue. You will see this Chrome remote desktop page and under my computers, click on get started. Then enable remote connections. This will require you to install the remote desktop host. So on the dialog box, click on accept and install. The host client will start downloading. It should take a few seconds depending on the speed of your connection. After downloading, run the installation accordingly. Then go back to the Chrome remote desktop app from your Chrome browser. Enter a pin to protect your remote connections and then you should get a message saying remote connections for this computer has been enabled. You can also rename your computers as you wish. Then from your Android phone, go to the Play Store and search for Chrome Remote Desktop and install the app accordingly. If you are using multiple Google accounts, then switch to the account with which you install the Chrome Remote Desktop app on your PC or computer. If it's an entirely new account, then you would have to add it through the email app first and then you can switch to the account on your Remote Desktop app. Upon switching to the account, you should see a list of all your remote computers and from there you can click on the computer you wish to access. Enter the access code and you should be able to see the desktop from where you can access all your files and applications. The cool thing about this app is that it also carries your audio data. So you could directly be playing a movie or running an application from your remote PC as though you are physically working on it. This can also be used on a PC, so you can directly access a remote computer on your PC without worrying about IP address changes and all those protocols. As you can see, I have multiple PCs added here, so I can easily switch from one PC to another and I can also remove or add computers as I wish. And of course, this becomes very useful for troubleshooting purposes as well. You can create a desktop shortcut for the remote desktop app by right-clicking on the icon and then selecting the create shortcut option. Remember to adjust the power and sleep settings on your remote computers to keep them powered on and actively connected to the internet. And that completes the process. If you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video, please post in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.